artist Doug Pexa here. Uh, this is the last of my daily vlogs, and it is called Epic Fail for very obvious reasons. It was an epic, epic fail. I had promised an epic, cool last vlog on my last daily vlog. And as you might be able to tell, this isn't in sequence, so. But before I get into that, I want to thank everybody who has uh, watched uh, some of these uh, daily vlogs. I know I didn't get as much traction as I was hoping, but that's okay, I understand. Everybody has a life, and uh, I do too. And all of you new people, love you. Thank you for uh, joining the community and uh, give me some great uh, comments, especially Elizabeth. I know we've been friends a long time, but hey, we're, we're connecting here too, so even better. This daily vlogging thing, I have learned a lot about myself and uh, a little bit about time management. I also realized that daily vlogging is probably not gonna be something I do very often. Maybe in spurts here and there, um, but uh, I think I'm gonna try to do once a week, maybe twice a week, depending on, on the situation, so. We'll get into that in other vlogs. So what happened to my last daily vlog? Well, simple reason is um, I had agreed to uh, fill in out at the Minnesota Renaissance Festival for uh, my boss out there. I had de dedicated not working out there full time like I have in years past. And uh, I was gonna bring out my camera and do some cool b-roll and talk about varying things and you know i forgot my camera at home we were a bit busy didn't go to the booth much and well it's what it is the next day it was all getting ready for my new adventure which is my new job i know the beginning of this um sequence was about my last day at my old job and uh, since I didn't actually get any b-roll out there I do want to document my day and my last day and um, so what did I do? I spent a little time making a very 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 um, bad cartoon film strip whatever um, a little paper and I am going to just kind of to go over uh, over some things in slide format and uh, see what happens. First slide. There, there I am in a kilt. My sword, my little side pack, and all ready to go at home. And um, yeah, you see on the couch, I left the camera there in spite of packing everything else I wouldn't need or uh, want out there, including a, a booklet um, and a sketchbook. Yeah, and if you didn't see the teaser for this, which you probably did, um, yeah, that's me in a kilt, ha, in real life. Got out to the Minnesota Renaissance Festival. Some of the most talented and most interesting people I know are out there. Uh, I work at Catskill Mountain Moccasins in the last, you know, seven, seven or eight years. I don't even remember how many years. Um, and I sell, believe it or not, custom-made moccasins. Here I am in the booth. Everybody is nowhere in sight. I don't know why. Maybe because I didn't feel like drawing them. And I realized I had no camera and... I know I could have used my phone probably and whatever, but again, it's sometimes more important to live in the moment, as it were, and um, I kind of wanted to do that anyway, so uh, let's see, yeah. So there's two new fellows in the booth, um, one named Fish, yes, that is his real name. Uh, it is short for something, and I don't remember the story. And the other fella, he's a, a bigger fella with a big red beard. His name is Evan. Uh, he also is both of those two guys. 
uh, travel around uh, with the festivals and um, so they make their living. Uh, I'm glad I don't have to do that because you don't make a lot of money. Anyway, I mean, granted, selling custom-made moccasins, you can do pretty good. But depending on weather and all that good stuff, you can have some really bad days also. So the other person who works and sells uh, the custom-made moccasins uh, is Joanna. And uh, she wanted to get her final second pair. Uh, she has a two-button pair. And... Uh, so they're short, uh, even though she's short. She is, uh, in this slide, getting her fitting. Yes, we do custom fitting, and uh, you get to design everything you want on your moccasin. If you haven't, check out uh, Catskills Mountain Moccasins website or their Facebook page, and you'll see some really cool moccasins. Granted, they're not cheap. Eric was uh, the moccasin maker who is uh, kind of heading the booth uh, for a couple weekends and um, he thought it was funny that uh, she could pull up the sock for the fitting all the way to her mid-calf. We don't do mid-calf uh, moccasins out there, but um, he thought it was funny so when he was doing the fitting he just kept on going up to her mid uh upper leg and we were all laughing at her because nobody's seen that done before. Uh, one of the things I love about the Renaissance Festival is you get to meet a lot of people and uh, I have a lot of friends out there and it is definitely one of those things where you get a lot of hugs and, and a lot of just love and, and caring and, and stuff and some of these people I don't see except for out there know friends who travel friends who just have different lives don't get a chance to hang out train train the uh, off season cool so I was happy to go and fill in uh, 1030 uh, right across the way is uh, the mead booth and one of my favorite groups out there uh, four pints shy uh, they always play at 10.30, and um, this is a few of the members playing. I didn't get them all in there. Uh, the uh, female vocalist is amazing. She has such a great voice. I love her to death. Anywho, so I always sneak over there if I'm not busy with uh, a sale and stuff. So that's what that slide's all about. And a little later in the afternoon on my break... I like to go for a walk around um, to do some fun things. Usually just piss around some time and uh, uh, get some food. Uh, here I am, I like to walk around and amaze people with my amazing talent of balancing my wooden sword on my finger and walking around with it. Uh, it's not really that amazing. But uh, it's funny because people make a big deal sometimes out of it, and I drop it, and then I make them pick it up for me because I can do that. I also play imaginary Super Bowl with people if they get it, and most people don't get it. So, you know, there's that. Kids mostly get it. Adults, not so much. Also eat. Yes, eat. My favorite food out there, pierogies. They're fairly inexpensive, but they are really, really good. They're an independent uh, food booth out there, so they're even better than anything else. Um, I do sometimes, once a season, I usually get a turkey leg. They're pretty horrible. Um, and if you know how they're made, they're even worse. But uh, I, I tend to get one, uh, however, I make a, a spectacle of it and I try to give people my scraps. Usually never take it. And I hold on to the bone until somebody actually grabs the bone. And I, I try to entice people to grab the bone and um, for one reason or another. I don't say anything. It's all just pantomime whatever stuff. And I've never had somebody not take it eventually. And once they grab it, I walk away. I always hear laughter 
and a little bit of confusion on that one. Yep, and then there's um, having a beer or two, uh, you know, during the day. Uh, that's always good. And I don't think I need to say more about having a beer or two, because if you don't have a beer or two, uh, or you don't like beer, moot point. I did get a sale. Everybody got a sale. That made my day. It made it at least worthwhile going out there. I made enough money to at least buy some food, and, um, you know, I usually bring out my own beer because, well, I can. That was my day. Yeah, and I drew it all on a big, big sheet of paper. Oh, and I uh, started doodling on this one because I was bored. I hope you loved this epic fail because it was an epic fail. It was probably boring as hell. I don't care. Hit that like button, subscribe. Be the 35th subscriber, I dare you. And uh, this weekend, I'm going to uh, get some more art stuff going. I've started another leaf painting. I've got a lot of leaves coming now in, in my yard. Hi. Hi, Bella. I've had that little one for five years, almost to the day. She was so cute. She's still cute. She's my baby. So hopefully she won't interrupt.